Okay, we want to look at derivatives of composite functions, and in calculus we call this the chain rule. And I like to think about this as let's go inside out, and you'll know what I'm talking about shortly. So the derivative of a composite function, m of x, which is f of g of x, is given by m prime of x, the derivative of m, is g prime of x times f prime of g of x. So this states that if we have a composite function, one function stuck inside of another, then the way we take the derivative is first we take the derivative of the inside function, and then we take the derivative of the outside function and multiply those together. Now sometimes we think of this inside function as u, and so this can be rewritten as m prime of x is equal to f prime of u times u prime, where u prime is a derivative of the inside function, and f prime is the derivative of the outside, and u is equal to g of x in this formulation. So let's look at an example. Suppose we want to take the derivative of a function m of x is equal to 3x squared plus 2 all to the 8th power. First we have to recognize that this is a composite function, namely there is one function stuck inside of the other. If you look at this carefully, you can see that 3x squared plus 2 is an inner function, and then u to the 8th power, or the outside function, raises whatever is inside of it to the 8th power. So we have a composite function. Therefore, to find the derivative, we need to use the chain rule. So let's work inside out. The inside function is g of x equals 3x squared plus 2. We now need the derivative of that function, which is 6x. That's using the power rule. The outside function is f prime, or some function raised to the eighth power. So we're going to take the derivative of f prime. That will give me 8 times 3x squared plus 2 to the seventh power, because whatever is in the parenthesis was raised to the eighth power. Using the power rule, that would be 8 times the parenthesis to the seventh power. Multiplying these two things together, we get m prime of x is equal to 8 times 3x squared plus 2 to the seventh power times 6x. We can rearrange the terms. 8 times 6 is 48, and then there's an x, so we pull that to the front, and after we've cleaned it up, we get 48x times 3x squared plus 2 to the seventh power. Let's consider a second example. The function m of x is equal to 2 times the natural log of x squared minus 3x plus 4. Looking at this function, the 2 is just a constant, so we won't be concerned with that until the very end. But we do have the natural log function now, and inside the natural log function, we have a second function, which is x squared minus 3x plus 4. So if we think about this, the natural log function is the outer function called f, and the inner function u is x squared minus 3x plus 4. So one of our formulations is that m prime of x is equal to f prime of u times u prime. So taking the derivative, we see that f prime of u would be 1 over x squared minus 3x plus 4. That's how you take the derivative of natural logs. Then the derivative of the inside function, x squared minus 3x plus 4, is 2x minus 3. That's u prime. And then, of course, we have the 2 in front, and we have the derivative. As a final example, we want to look at a, a wonderful place to use the chain rule. When we want to take the derivative of something that looks like, say, derivative with respect to w of 1 over w cubed plus 4 to the fifth power, we're looking at that, and clearly we could use the quotient rule. But if we rewrite the function, Namely, whenever we have a function that looks like 1 over f to the nth power, we write that as f to the minus n. Then this problem becomes a derivative with respect to w of w cubed plus 4 to the minus 5. And so now we can use a chain rule because we have an inner function, which is w cubed plus 4, an outer function, which is u to the minus 5 power. Applying the chain rule, the derivative of the inside is 3w squared. The derivative of the outside is minus 5 w cubed plus 4 to the minus 6. Multiplying the 3 times minus 5 gives us minus 15, and we have a w squared. 
And then since w cubed plus 4 is to the minus 6 power, we can put that in the denominator. So finally our answer is minus the quantity 15w squared over w cubed plus 4 to the 6th power.